Hey guys, I was out in town checking out some of the thrift stores the other day and I came across one of these. There we go. This is a Platypus Gravity Works pump free water system. All it is is a uh, gravity water filter. I did a video on the one I made up and that I currently carry in my bug out bag uh, the Marine Corps issue source uh, water bladder. I think, I believe it's a three liter one and using the uh, Marine Corps issued MSR inline water filter. Uh, as I covered in that video, it stated that the water flow, it was a lot slower and it took a lot longer to filter out uh, enough water for a Nalgene bottle. With the platypus, uh, the water rate is a lot faster. Uh, it's a lot more compact, not as bulky and doesn't weigh as much as the source uh, water filter setup that I have. So uh, definitely going to be replacing this in my bag with uh, using the platypus, and I'll take the source bladder. I'll probably just throw that in my uh, my vehicle kit. Uh, these online retail, depending upon the source that you get them from, between 115 and 130, and that doesn't include the shipping costs. Uh, I picked this up for twenty dollars. It's brand new, never ever been used, so it's a deal I couldn't pass up. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the uh, components that go with this kit. All right, for a size comparison, as you can see, hands down, the platypus uh, is a lot more smaller and compact than the uh, the source water bladder. So anytime you, those of you do a lot of backpacking know that uh, you know size and weight is a considerable factor whenever you're carrying anything on your back for extended periods of time. So, uh, so definitely this is a win-win. Uh, does the same exact thing as the uh, the source water bladder, but as far as size and weight goes, this is definitely the uh, the route to go. All right, here's all your components laid out. Starting with the uh, here's the instruction manual. It came with two other instruction manuals. One, this is of course English. German and Japanese. The material in this is just regular paper so it's not waterproof or anything so if you want to continue to carry this with you uh, I would highly recommend putting this inside of a Ziploc bag to keep it waterproof. But a very thorough manual uh, covers specifications, troubleshooting steps, as well as different tips uh, for use of this. has a breakdown of all the components and different steps on the uh, proper setup and use of the platypus water system how to uh, pack in instructions as well as disinfecting the filter itself after use so it's a very thorough detailed manual uh, highly recommend carrying this with you in your kit um, let's see here Uh, it has different specs on it, as I stated. It. So it's pretty handy for all you uh, people who love your data. Comes with a uh, mesh nylon bag, carry bag. As with most of your water filters, you, you'll come across. It has real nice step by step instructions on the use of the filter, the setup and has it on the back as well. And this material here is a uh, waterproof type material, it almost kind of feels rubber. So of course this stays with the bag. Alright, yeah, the, uh, the filter itself, extremely lightweight, a few ounces, uh, rubber type uh, ends here to protect in case you accidentally drop it. Comes with a protective cap here. You have two different silicone hoses. This is the uh, the short hose that goes into the end of the uh, the dirty bag. You have the longer of the two, 
this is the hose that will connect onto the, uh, the end of the clean bag. Has a uh, shut off clamp. Get that in there. You see, it's got different levels here, it's just notches. When filtering it, of course, you want to have it in the open position and to shut off the flow of water. Just clamps down the hose in that case, stops the flow rate. Two bags. Let's get a shot here. This is your clean bag. And it's got different uh, levels there in ounces as well as liters. And these are four liter bags. It's a uh, silicone type bag, very durable. It's not going to guarantee it's not going to crack on you, whatever, unless you freeze water in it and you sling it around against rocks or whatever. This is your transport cap. So when you fill your clean bag up, you disconnect the hose and go and put your transport cap on there. As your uh, carry nylon loop handle on the end. So for transportation of the bag itself. And the final item is the actual dirty bag itself. It has the same measurements on the side. It has its uh, female end to attach the, uh, the male end of the dirty uh, water hose. You have nylon strap for hanging of the bag. And what's the difference between this bag and, and the clean water bag, it has a press closure type uh, opening like you would find on your Ziploc bags. So this allows you to go ahead and fill from a, any water source that you have available to you. So there's, there's all the components for the uh, for the platypus. All right, setting this up uh, for filtering water is pretty easy. So you can follow the instructions. Once you've read them, they're, uh, they're pretty easy to remember. All right, so we've already filled up our dirty bag. So we're going to take our clean bag. Just take unscrew the, I call it a transport cap. Let's take that off. Grab the long hose, which has this plastic uh, adapter here. place on there and we're going to go ahead and screw it in place and pop it off here real quick. Alright here we go. And tighten so it's in there nice and tight. Uh, once you set your bag up if you need to move this around as you see it doesn't move all you simply do is just loosen this up and then you can just move it around and adjust it as needed. Alright now before you at attach uh, the end to the filter, you want to make sure that you go ahead and slide that clamp on first. All right. Then we take our water filter, and again you have the flow end here, going this way. So of course flow starting from here is going to be your dirty water hose is going to be hooked into. So take off the protective cap on the other end. Again, with the flow rate, this end here is going to be where your, 
the filter water is going to eventually come out of. So that's where we're going to put our clean water hose. And it stays right onto the, it's barbed, so it's going to hold it on uh, in place. Alrighty. So that is setting up the clean bag. So now all we do is set it up and connect it to the dirty water bag. All right, we've got our, uh, our dirty water bag, and we got some not so clean water back out of the pond there. And see, it looks like uh, apple cider. So once you fill it up, make sure that you take and seal that top Ziploc portion. Make sure it's nice and sealed, and just if you want to test it, just flip it over, and no water will come out of it. All right. So we have our small, I call it the dirty water hose, with the male connection on there, and we're going to attach this to the filter. Before we get to that, one of the things that I added to this kit that it does not come with is I added a carabiner. And of course, any can, air, any type carabiner will work. This is a climbing one, so this is a, has a safety rating, but you can use a non-climbing one that you can pick up at a hardware store, dollar store, wherever the case is. So again, this just lets it makes it easier to connect to a branch, rope, whatever. So we're going to take and put this up in a branch, making sure that the uh, dirty bag is higher than our clean water collection bag. All right, we have our setup that we uh, set up earlier. So again, with your the flow indicator. This end is where the water is going to initially come through, so that's where you're going to put your short, dirty water hose onto, and it's got barbs on it as well. Let's see, eh, really hard to see that, but it's got barbs on the end of that as well. It's on there, nice and snug. And you want to make sure that your clip is in a closed position. So it clamps off the hose, and we're going to take and put the male end into the female end. All right, now you're not going to see any kind of water flow. Zoom in here. There's going to be no water flow whatsoever until you release your clamp. So once I release the pressure off the clamp, there goes the water. So let's get a close up here. Now the water is still going to look, in this case, a little bit dirtier. But it is filtering out any of the uh, the nasties in there, the cryptosporidium, giardia, etc. So if you wanted to get this water a lot more cleaner, what you would have would have had have done would be go ahead and pre-filter. As you see, one liter went very quick. That's just one liter of water. So just a guessment, four liters of water on this. I'd say probably maybe take two two minutes tops to uh, go ahead and filter that. Camera off here. And again, you know the water it was a, lot, a little bit a lot cleaner I can tell you right now than it was before. So it filtered out a lot of that dirt, uh, all the little bugs floaters and so forth out of there so this water is safe to drink uh, you can throw in some you know Gatorade or propel water packets whatever to flavor it up for you if you want it to uh, there's no need to boil this water at all you know if you're in a situation where you need a drink of water you're not going to care what the water looks like so again it filters water a lot faster than my uh, source water bladder 
Uh, it took me probably around 15, almost close to 18 minutes to filter one liter, or as it were, one Nalgene bottle of water through the source water bladder. For this one here, I can fill up a four liter uh, bladder in probably right about two minutes or less. So definitely a huge improvement over the uh, the source bladder setup. And what I would do with this is once I filled up my four liter clean water bag, just disconnect that out of there, go ahead and fill my dirty water bag back up and go ahead and set it up in the camp so I don't have to keep running back and forth down to the creek, the pond, the lake and get more water so I have four liters of water ready to be filtered at any given time. So in conclusion, I give this bag uh, a 10 and a big thumbs up on it. Uh, it's very compact, lightweight, and it will not take up very much room in your bag. Uh, it's great for if you're on the move as well as for a, uh, a water source in your camp. Uh, the price is a little bit, you know, a little pricey, $100 plus, but again, you get what you pay for. Uh, don't take my just my word on how great this is. Uh, you know, ask around, watch other videos that are out there on YouTube, uh, do your research. But for me, I find it's 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 great. Um, one thing you want to make sure you find the cleanest water source available to you, uh, and you always want to pre-filter your water. I .e pouring that water through a bandana or as I had in one of my other videos you, know, you can use an item such as the British Milbanks bag so always pre-filter your water to try to get as much debris out before you run it through a filter because you don't want to clog these filters up uh, you know I've had the problems in the past with other types of hand pump water filters you get some dirt in there and they're pretty much done uh, I didn't cover how to backwash the filter uh, it's pretty simple you just take filtered water out of your clean bag Hold the clean bag higher and let the water back, wash, uh, back flush through the filter back down to the dirty water bag until for about approximately four seconds until there's no air bubbles and that the water is flowing clean in a straight steady flow. So basically you're back washing all that uh, sediment and anything else that got into your filter. So that's my outtake on it. Uh, again, I think it's a, it's a great asset for anybody uh, prepping or just anybody who do, uh, enjoys doing things in the outdoors. So please like my video, subscribe if you like, please leave some comments, and if you do leave comments, I will try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So you all have a great one, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and God bless.